when you're done eating eggs, don't throw out the eggshells. Instead, what you want to do is crush them up into a bowl and then sprinkle it directly on the soil of your indoor and outdoor plants. This is gonna give your plants the calcium they need to grow. Plus, it'll keep slugs, caterpillars, and cutworms from munching on your plants. So don't throw out eggshells. Do this instead and help reduce food waste in the world. Did you know that cinnamon is like magic for plants? Just sprinkle a little bit on top of the soil. This is gonna encourage root growth. And because cinnamon has antifungal properties, it'll prevent mold and fungi from appearing on the soil. Fungi, 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 I'm a fun kind of guy. Plus, you know those annoying little gnats on the soil? Well, guess what? It gets rid of them too. Cinnamon, magic for plants. You won't believe what you could do with orange peels. The first thing you're gonna do is get the peels from two oranges. The next thing you're gonna do is chop them up. Grab a pot, put the orange peels in it, add about two tablespoons of dish soap, and two cups of water. Then bring it to boil. Once it boils, take it off the heat and let it soak for about two hours. Then grab a spray bottle and a funnel and strain the liquid out into it. Close it. And boom, what you have right now is a homemade bug spray that's gonna keep away mealy bugs, aphids, even slugs away from your plants. Go outside in your garden and spray it directly on the leaves of your plants and keep away those nasty looking bugs. So don't buy those insecticides at the store that contain who knows what. And don't throw out orange peels, just do this instead. Did you know you can grow strawberry plants with just one strawberry? All you have to do is grab a peeler and peel off the outer skin. Then grab a pot with some soil in it, and then place the peels right on top. Cover it with soil, and boom! Pretty soon you'll have a bunch of strawberry seedlings growing. When you're done getting the fruit out of a pomegranate, don't throw out the peel. Instead, chop it up a little bit, and blend it with some water. This thing is packed with nutrients, potassium, phosphorus, iron, copper, zinc. These are all micronutrients that plants need to thrive. So apply this directly to the soil of your plants and feed them with this natural fertilizer. They'll love you. Bonus, it also works as a facial scrub. What's up guys, quick tip for when you grow tomato plants. In between the stems, you'll find these little suckers. They're called suckers because they suck the energy and nutrients from the main plants. So if you pinch them off as they grow out, you'll get tomatoes a lot faster and they'll grow bigger. When you're done eating bananas, don't throw out the banana peel. Banana peels are packed with nutrients, potassium, phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, zinc. So what you want to do is place them on a piece of foil, leave them out to dry in the sun. What's going to happen is they're going to turn so dry that you can crush them up into powder form. And then use this powder to fertilize your plants. They'll love you for the added benefits. So the next time you're about to throw out a banana peel, remember it's food for plants. Did you know you can clone a rose bush with a potato? The first thing you want to do is make sure you got some water ready. Get sharp scissors or pruners and snip off a piece that's about 8 inches long with 4 leaf nodes. Place it in the water right away. Grab a pot and fill it halfway with soil. Then grab a small potato and drill a hole right in the middle. Get your cutting. We're going to cut the stem on a 45 degree angle. Trim off the bottom leaves. Create a wound by scraping the bottom of the stem and then make a slit in the middle of it. The last thing we're going to do is cut the top off. Grab some honey, we're gonna roll the stem in it. Honey is a natural rooting hormone. Grab the potato and stick the rose cutting in the hole. Place the whole thing in the pot with soil, and then top off the pot with soil. And boom, that's it. The potato's gonna keep the stem moist, allowing it to grow roots, and this baby's gonna grow into a whole new rose bush. 